Hello art friends, my name is Fleshwad and today I have another Drawing Your Creepy Pasta OCs video for you. And this one is alien themed. Before I get started, I would like to say that I am not using the drawing program that I usually use, which is Adobe Photoshop. In order to save money, I've decided to step down from Photoshop and return to Metabang Paint Pro, which is a really, really good program, but I am having a little bit of a rough time adjusting. That being said, I feel like you can definitely see my struggle in this video uh, throughout the art, and I apologize, but hopefully you guys will still enjoy. On to our first creepypasta. This creepypasta was submitted by Gacha underscore cookie, and it is titled, Is it a shooting star? Imani was just turning 13 that night, as she was out on her balcony. I wonder what's up there, she thought. When she was about to go back inside, that's when she saw it. A shooting star, or so it seemed. She made a wish that her family wouldn't be in debt anymore. But the star landed in her family's backyard. She gasped. Let's check it out, she said to herself. Once she got to the backyard, that's when everything got blurry. The next thing she knew, she saw two eyes staring right at her. She screamed, causing the black one to go in pain. Imani was chained against a medical bed. Is this some sort of laboratory? She thought. Imani saw the black one get a... Some sort of a creepy crawler and a scalpel. Imani was terrified and blacked out once again. Imani woke up in her bed the next morning. It's all just a nightmare. She sighed in relief. But then her stomach started to hurt. Ow. She walked downstairs to see not her parents, but the same thing she saw in her dream. Ah! She groaned in pain, as if her stomach was getting ripped apart. And it was. That's when an alien came out of her stomach, screeching. The alien came up to her, and Imani heard it mumble. Thank you, my bride. Our second creepypasta was submitted by Broken Underscore Dreams and is titled Headspace. My parents are divorced and they don't live too far apart, so most of the time I just walk. I left for my dad's house a little late this week, but I didn't mind. As the sun started to set, I got an eerie feeling. And then, all of a sudden, I felt sleepy. I was almost at my dad's house when I saw a guy around my age standing at a light post ahead of me. I'm only 15 and I didn't really have anyone to hang out with at my dad's house. So I said, hey, I haven't seen you around here. Are you new? He looked at me and spoke softly. Uh, yeah. As I got closer, I noticed that his pupils were a bit weird, almost like a cat. I was weirded out a little, and then I got that eerie feeling again. He broke the silence by saying, I better get going. I said, yeah, me too, and we both waved bye to each other. My dad was sitting at the dinner table, about to eat. Without looking up, he said, your food's in the microwave. After I got my food, I sat down and he looked up and looked very confused. He said that there were purple and blue marks going up my face. I ignored him and thought it might just be his depression getting to him. I went to my room and went straight to bed. I had such a horrible nightmare. At least, I thought it was. The boy that I had seen earlier was standing at the foot of my bed. He was looking at me. I stared at his eyes as they slowly faded to black and he no longer looked human, more like an alien. The next thing I knew, I was on this weird spaceship-like thing and, and there were six aliens gathered around me. I fainted at the sight of the aliens, and then woke up sweating and out of breath. 
but I didn't feel normal. I lifted up my hoodie, and I saw a moon-shaped scar, but my body didn't feel normal. I looked in the mirror, and my eyes were weird looking like the guys. I blinked hard, and the next thing I knew, I was an alien. I ran out of the house and floated up. And our last creepypasta was submitted by Bacon Origami. It is titled, Odd Lights. August 11th, 2018. I was laying in my bed that night. Mom was out on another night shift and Dad fell asleep early for a job interview. So it was just me and Millie, who asked me for a story. Once Millie went back to bed, I found something weird happening outside. A weird flashing light. In such an odd pattern, too. Flickering, then stopping. Flickering, then stopping. Then finally ending. It was so odd. August 12th, 2018. It was the first day of school. We got a new student. His name was Cryptid. Odd name. When he walked through the door, the first thing I noticed were his eyes. They were a bright green and so dreamy. I didn't even notice him walk right up to me. Excuse me, do you know where class 143 is? His voice had a slight eerie purr at the end. Yeah, I stuttered, down there to the left. October 13th, 2018. The Halloween dance is coming up. All my friends knew I didn't have the guts to ask Cryptid out, but Emily did. She walked right up to him and asked him. He replied yes, and they continued on their way. October 31st, 2018. The dance was... odd. Me and my friends dressed up as a horde of zombies. Emily dressed up as a cowgirl, and Cryptid dressed up as an alien. Everyone was just dancing and having a good time. The chaperones were separating the couples, getting a little too close, and all was well. After the dance, though, me and my friends were all waiting for my mom to pick us up when I spotted Cryptid and Emily. They were both saying goodbye, and Emily leaned in for a kiss. Cryptid did too. Half a second later, I heard a loud slice and saw that a long spike had come out of Cryptid's mouth and through Emily's skull. His eyes widened, the eyes that had turned completely black. He retracted the spike and covered his mouth, just before running away into darkness, leaving Emily's body there, on the ground, in a large pool of blood. November 1st, 2018. The day after the party was terrible, It was mostly silent in the halls, and the kids were pulled out of class to be questioned. Cryptid didn't come to school that day. Some people say he went to prison. Others say he ran away, off the map. But I will never forget those odd lights I saw that night after the party. After the chaos. After the cryptid. And those were the three alien-themed creepypastas for this video. Thank you to everyone who submitted a story. I'm really, really excited to announce that I'm officially opening up submissions for Halloween-themed creepypasta OCs. Please, please, please submit your OCs in the comments below. If you have a drawing of your OC, like on Instagram or Twitter or something, then please leave a link to your drawing because I'd love to see it um, and feature it in the video if I do choose your... OC. If you want to commission me for a definite slot in the video, I will be opening up three slots um, starting at 15 bucks each, just kind of depending on what you want. Uh, But this will ensure that your OC does get into one of the Halloween videos. I have probably two planned um, with three slots in each video. So half of those could be commissions if you really, really want to make sure that your OC gets picked. If you are interested in commissioning me, then you can message me on Instagram, at FleshWildYT. Once again, huge thank you to everyone who submitted your stories and for letting me draw your characters. It means so much to me. If you liked the art in this video, please make sure to give this video a like 
And if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching. Until the next video, bye.